In this video, I'd like to talk about word problems involving the volume of cylinders, cones, and spheres. And in this particular example, Francisco is making an effort to drink more water. He has set a goal of two liters per day. He wants to know the volume of the water bottle that he takes to school each day. The water bottle has the dimensions shown in this diagram here. And what you can see is that this shape is a cylinder. And we know it's a cylinder because it has a bottom and top base that is circular. And cylinders are prism-like. So you can imagine taking this bottom base and sliding it along the length of the cylinder and it would fit perfectly through it. Or another way to look at it is that if we cut out a cross section along this length, that this area of the cross section would be equal to the area of the top and the bottom bases. So with a cylinder, remember that the formula to find the volume of cylinder is we take the area of the base and we multiply it by the height. So we can say that the cylinder volume is the area of the base, which is the area of a circle. So we have pi multiplied by the radius squared, where r, that's the radius of this circular base. And we're going to multiply everything by the height of the cylinder. And we can call that h. So this 20 centimeter length here, this is the height and the radius of this circle or the circular base is four centimeters. So if we plug in these values for the height and the radius, we can figure out what the volume is. So we can use V for volume, and this volume is pi multiplied by the radius squared, where the radius is four centimeters, and then we'll multiply by the height, which is 20 centimeters, and simplifying, we will have pi multiplied by 16 square centimeters. And notice with the units, we are multiplying centimeters by centimeters, so that gives us square centimeters. And we will multiply all that by 20 centimeters. Now, 16 times 20 would be 320. And we have square centimeters multiplied by centimeters, so that will give us cubic centimeters. And we're multiplying everything by pi. Now, if we want an exact answer to this, then the volume is just 320 times pi cubic centimeters. But if we want to get an approximate answer, we can say that pi is approximately 3.14. So if we plug that in, what we get for our volume is 1,004.8 cubic centimeters. So it depends what you're looking for. If you want the exact answer, then you'll leave pi in your answer. But if you want to get an approximate decimal answer, then you can use an approximation for pi and calculate this to be 1,004.8 cubic centimeters.